Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. An update to you, for you on the weather this week. We've had a pattern change, obviously, and now we're into a cooler than normal uh, weather pattern, at least for several days, and it looks like averaging over the next week. And in fact, by Wednesday morning, I think it's going to be downright cold for this time of the year, and I think we're going to have some snowflakes flying. Maybe not maybe not in the southern half of the state, but maybe down as far south as Midland or even Saginaw or Bay City. Um, so definitely a different weather pattern than what we have been used to. Hey, good morning, Todd Bark. Let's get to it. And if you have any questions, uh, go to it and let me know what you're wanting to know. All right. Hey, Michelle Cork. Uh, so here we are. with the uh, rainfall across the area. Hey, morning, Brandy Austin. Uh, this here, snow, ironwood, 28 degrees right now and snowing, so it's not that far away. So uh, basically you're having a showery morning across all of lower Michigan. Here is the radar forecast, and we'll start off at 8 o'clock, 9, 10, 11, noon. So it's essentially for most of southern lower, it is a morning shower activity. Then the colder air kicks in up north and the lake effect rain showers, Leelanau County, uh, Grand Traverse County, Mancelona, Bel Air, Gaylord, uh, up to near Mackinac City, and some snow showers can be, be mixed in there as well. Hey, good morning, Zane McMillan. Uh, so we're into the afternoon, and we are dry in southern lower this afternoon. But northern lower, these spurts of lake effect rain and snow showers, that's going to be common if you get into a colder than normal pattern with still warm water, you're going to have a lot of random quick uh, rain and snow showers in Michigan, especially in those rain and snow belts, but even outside of those, okay? So here are the high temperatures for today. Take a coat with you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, someone's saying, send the chill down to Florida. I heard from one of my weather spotters that goes to Florida already. He said September in Tampa was the uh, warmest month ever recorded. Not just the warmest September. Of course, September is hot in Florida. So, um Hottest months ever in Tampa. Okay, so here are high temperatures today. We're looking at about 50 in Detroit and Ann Arbor. And we're looking at about uh, 46 in Kalamazoo, 47 in Saginaw Bay City and the Thumb. We're looking at uh, only about 44 for a high temperature in the Grand Rapids area and upper 30s for high temperatures in the Cadillac up to Gaylord Grayling, 40. Was that 41 in Traverse City and highs in the mid 30s, western part of the UP? I agree, great time for working outside. Got a ton done this weekend. My wife and I commented on that the outdoor furniture inside and all that stuff. Brandy Austin wants to know predictions for this winter. Uh, I've been trying to get my 30 second, uh, oh, what do you call that? The 30 second elevator pitch. You know, so I don't have to go long-winded. So here, so people keep asking me, here's what I think for the winter. I think on again, off again, okay? And to make it easy, month on, month off. Not to say that it would exactly be that way, but I think you're going to have two to three, two to four week patterns of uh, bursts of harsh uh, colder than normal, snowier than normal weather. I think you're going to have two or three significant warm-ups of a week or two. Um, and so I think it's going to be an off-again, on-again winter with um, a, a decent amount of snow, probably normal to above normal snowfall. All right, but breaks might make it feel a lot better for some folks. High temperatures tomorrow, about 50 degrees in the southern lower upper 40s, northern lower, so a little warmer. And then Wednesday, this cold air pounces on us, and these are high temperatures, 47 Detroit, uh, 40, 
7 in Ann Arbor, 44 Saginaw Bay City in Grand Rapids, 40, 37 in Gaylord. So the lower, the southern lower will get down into the 40s on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we rebound a touch into the 50s on Friday and then back to cold for the weekend. So what we're seeing is cold coming about every two or three days, a reinforcing shot. Definitely end to the growing season. And I just want to show this to you. All right, what you're looking at is um, essentially temperature. So when you get to something like this blue line, that's almost the rain-snow line, the second blue line would be. Uh, <laughs> Patrick does not want to hear anything about snow. Okay, so we're into Tuesday evening, and can you see what's happening? There's a storm up here, and then we get into a stiff northwesterly flow, and the colder air is coming in, and the lake effect rain and snow showers are being set off. And this is Wednesday morning. Here's that rain snow line, another line, another line, another line, and a cold northwesterly flow. So uh, that's what I'm trying to say is you better have the jacket and the, even the coat ready coming up here this week. Today's showers this morning, afternoon, drying out if you need some dry weather. Today, tomorrow, and then Wednesday, we go into a pretty cold pattern for this time of the year. It might be kind of a shocker. There's your morning update. Thanks for joining me. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We do this every morning, about 8.30ish or so. And uh, let your friends know at work and online, and please share this. And then uh, they can get an insight onto the weather, too. Pretty soon, it's going to be talking snowstorms, but not just yet.